first time I came to Green Mountain was 1987, and I came for a month. Um, I was 60 pounds heavier than I am now, and they gave me pizza and ice cream, and I wanted my money back because <laughs> I didn't think you could lose weight and eat those things, but I did, and I kept it off for a long time now, and it's changed my life. Um, I was in college, and I had developed. Um, I had started dieting and getting, have, eating very low calorie intake, and then becoming starving, and then binging. So I was on a diet binge cycle, and I was very unhappy. It was exciting, and it was hopeful, <laughs> and it's beautiful here. So it was heaven on earth. <laughs> I don't come back to lose weight because mm -hmm. I'm at my goal weight. I've been for some time now, um, but I come back because it's a very special place that changed my life and changed my daughter's life. Um, I was in college then, but now I have two daughters, and um, the whole philosophy that Green Mountain goes by has completely changed their life and made food a non-issue, um, which is you know really meaningful to me. And I come back because it's just a very special place to me, and I really like to be here. I mean, it's beautiful. I think the well, the women only is really a very it makes it extra special because you don't have to worry about men or kids or anybody judging you or looking at you. You can just focus on you without feeling the pressures of society and the outside world looking at you and people judging you. So I think the women only thing is really very very special about it. I think that I would not come back. Um, if it was not, if it was a co-ed facility. I know some people might be watching this wondering whether the Green Mountain's a place for them to come. Um, and if you're looking for some place that's a fancy spa or something like that, it's probably not the place for you. Um, it's more about making permanent changes in your life and um, you know, a whole change over to a healthy life and liking yourself. And it's more, the focus is that. It's not um, a spa or you know, a place that you're you know, going to for a quick fix. Um, and they teach you to take what you learn home from almost the minute you get here to how to implement things at home in your regular life. So I just say that to people who, you know, are seeing if it's right for them. But there is a different way. Um, you know, there is a way to have peace with your eating and peace with your body, no matter what size you are, to come to some kind of acceptance and um, enjoy your life and not have your whole life be focused on food, what you're eating or how much you weigh. I do not um, make any food a no-no. They can have anything they want. Um, if you present my teenage daughter with a bowl of uh, strawberries and a bowl of strawberry ice cream, she'll choose the strawberries. She doesn't know that ice cream is a no-no or a fattening food. She just thinks of food as food and um, she thinks strawberries are delicious. So um, I've just not made food such a um, put, put big value judgments on what you eat. Um, I talk to them about listening to their body and when they're full or what they're craving and eating when they're hungry and stopping when they're full. Um, the most important thing I learned here was that diets don't work and um, it just changed my life. Um, I really thought that, you know, and I see people all around me, um, no carbs and you know, no fruit because it has carbs and no carrots because it has, you know, and it's, it's, it's painful for me to watch because I've been there, um, trying gimmicks and tricks and then you lose it and then you gain 50 pounds back and you lose 50 pounds. It's just a really hard way to live. So um, the most valuable thing that I learned here was to get off that whole diet roller coaster and to just have food be a non-issue in my life and have my life be my life without <laughs> focusing on what I'm eating or what my body looks like.